Welcome to the webinar recording for Get Organised for Study. This topic will be useful for ACAP, NCPS and HSA students. This also includes students studying the diploma course in the ACAP School of VET. This is a recording of the material we will cover in the live webinar of this topic. You can watch this video straight through or you can pause at any time to take notes or do the activities. You can also access the slides for this webinar from the Learning Support website. You may want to just watch the video straight through or use the pause button to stop and do the activities. The webinar slides are available at the link on this page. This webinar assists you to understand what is required to best organise your time and maximise the potential for academic success. There will be information about planning your time by creating strategies to help avoid procrastination. There will also be links to further resources and support you may need throughout the term. In order to plan your time well, it's a good idea to be aware about what facilitates you using your time productively, how best to learn, and how you might waste your time. Understanding this can help you study more efficiently. Take a moment to think about the ways you can use your time more effectively. How do you use your time? How do you plan and manage your time? What ways might you improve on that? Sometimes we might waste our time. Think about how that can happen. What are the things that contribute to you not being able to get started on a task? For example, are there certain times of the day, for instance, when it's harder to get motivated to study? Let's talk about planning. Planning is one strategy that can help you use your time more effectively and may increase your efficiency. Try using different types of planners, for example, term, weekly and daily planners to help manage your time. You can download planners from the Learning Support website. Let's look at the assignment summary as an example. It's a good idea to create this as early as possible in the term to create an awareness of all your assessment tasks so none are overlooked. Why? It helps put all the information in one place and keeps you mindful of the preparation needed for your assignments as you study. This tracks progress. You can see at a glance your marks so far and be aware of the grades needed for coming assignments for each of your subjects. You can go to the link at the top of your class space in the student portal. This link is called Unit and Information Assignment Requirements. Transfer all the assignment information onto the summary sheet. You will also find a term planner beneficial. This can help you note down when your assignments are due. You can also mark when you need to start doing certain things during the term. You can mark when your assignments are due. You will notice that there is always a break somewhere in the term and that a term runs for 12 weeks. Make sure you check the Student Learning Support website for the most recent planner. A term planner is also useful for adding personal commitments, for example, school holidays. It's also a good way to identify the periods of term that are busy, in particular when there may be several assignments due around week 11. This gives an overview and helps plan for these busy periods. The term planner can be slightly different for each school. Check your website for the dates. It can also be very useful to analyse how you use your time over a week. Here's a blank weekly planner. There's a filled in example on the next slide. It can also be useful to analyse your weekly use of time. Analysing your time over a week is a good way to identify extra time in the week that could be used for study. Remember to schedule free time. What would you do if you fill in a planner like this and think, I don't have enough time to do everything? Better options than not sleeping are reducing other activities to make time for study, so work less, socialise less, etc. Reducing your study load, sometimes there really isn't enough time to do everything and stay healthy and sane. A daily planner helps with prioritising your tasks. Put your most important tasks first and start others when your top tasks are complete. Here is an example of a daily planner. You can divide your time into slots, 
short, medium and long time slots. Be practical and realistic about how long your tasks will take. Now let's have a look at procrastination and why we procrastinate. Take a moment to think of the reasons you might put things off. Here we've given some common reasons for procrastination. If you can identify with any of these, we've shown solutions which may help you overcome these. There are some ways you can maximise your road to academic success. Here we list a few for you to think about. You might like to press pause now. The links shown here give more information on how best to manage your time. For more support and resources, consider the following websites. You might like to press pause now. Get in touch with us at Learning Support if you have any queries or need specific advice about an assignment you are writing. Good luck with your studies.